So, hello everybody. Driven by Moss 22.1 is out and it gives mainly an update for the Electra 1. And what many people love about the Electra 1 is the idea I came up with that you can quickly switch modes by simply touching three buttons. But several people ask for a configuration option for the functions of these knobs. And it seems this summer <laughs> got out of hand and there's now plenty of options. The default configuration is still the same when you start it. With the first three knobs you select the first mode, second mode, third mode and so on until the last one. And also the shift button is still working. So these three trigger the shift button. But I also added now that these last three knobs, so that one, that one, and that one, also trigger the shift. So you can use it now with every knob available. So if you have now shift, you see the value is changing very slowly. It triggers the slow mode. Uh, I also slowed that down and it's also now configurable. So if you go here and go to the settings of the Electra One controller, you see there is now a knob sensitivity setting for the default speed. So you can also change this default speed behavior if you want to increase it or lower it to your liking. And the second one is the one which changes now with the shift option and you can make it very slow. So for example, I set it to the slowest value possible with minus 100, but you can also adjust this to your liking. So, and being here in the configuration option, you see there's now plenty of options for touching. So these are all the different options you can configure for touch button combinations. It's always three, three touches, but you have now much more options of combinations. So the first ones are the linear ones. So the one, three are the linear ones. So three knobs ascending on this way here to the from left to the right. The next one is a little bit different and it always indicates here the knob numbers which I use. So it's counted here from one up to 12 down here. These one are a little bit larger, so it's touching one, two, and the fourth one, and it also goes to the right, and same for that row. Next one is a broad option. We have one, three, and five, which you could do like this if you have <laughs> a bit larger hands like I do. It's also an option. And then we have here this, what I call corner left and corner right. So corner left is the shift indications so are like that one and this can also go here to the right and the other one is a corner right is that one which you can take down to here and then the last one are four triangle ones which is the first one is that one that one and that one so it's like a triangle and this starts a playback here as a default and this is also the second one the third one and the fourth one so plenty of options and what can you configure with that you see there is here the default option already have set here the available modes, but you could also change to something completely different and you can also switch it off. So we have here these different options, for example, the shift, the modes, and then I have some pre-configured ones like toggling play, undo, tapping tempo, and so on. But there is also the option to trigger an action. For example, let's do that with here, let's say we choose here the broad option or already added something here i added adding an instrument track function so broad one is that one and if we go here you see you can simply add here an instrument track or i added here an audio track as well as here an effect track so this is very very fast for adding things let's say we want to use combination left one two and four and there you select action and then you need to find the related box down here so it was now linear left one two four and that one is also somewhere here linear left one two four here it is and here you can set now your action you want to execute and there is all the possible actions you have in Bitwig. For example, it's a little bit of uh, finding where it is. Uh, the, it does not always make sense, the naming, but this is how it comes straight out of Bitwig. Let's say in, in Project, there are some interesting ones. For example, you could also select tracks up to 40. If you want to quickly move in your Project, say you want to jump to track 40, for example, or 20. 
There's also other options for muting, soloing, uh, and things like that. Also, here the transport options like toggling the arranger loop, following playhead, toggling groove, and so on. For example, let's just pick here the loop and let's check that out. So we trigger these three. And here you see we have here toggled the loop and it's off again and this also works nicely. So very, very powerful. You can put your favorite actions on button combinations or as I said, if you're very clumsy and accidentally trigger wrong modes, you can also simply switch it off. Let's also have a quick look at how it looks with Reaper. So as usual, it's absolutely identical but the difference is the action so the action is here with a select field and if you click here select you will get the action dialog of reaper and there you can also configure the settings for example i think i added something in here yeah for example here the triggering the 49 11 it triggers the action to add a track and let's check that out i overwrote this triangle so let's touch these and then you see we can insert here a track so even in reaper it's more powerful you have much more actions in reaper and you can trigger basic everything you can also trigger your own scripts with reaper actions so plenty of options in reaper as well with this new feature and I hope you like it, dig it, and until next time, make some funky music. <laughs>